Connie, well, as you know, I am a 555 timer IC, so I'm pretty good at sending out pulses of electricity in perfect time. Normally, I can blink an LED just fine, but for some reason, I can't make this high power LED flash. Oh, you probably just need to give it a little more electrical current. Hmm, you may be right, but I can only supply a bit of current for my pins here. My integrated circuit was not designed for driving a lot of current. Well, you're mighty lucky I came along. I can help you. Really? How? I may be small, but I'm pretty strong. I can push and pull 10 times as much current as you can and manage enough power to light this big LED. I just need you to tell me when to turn it on. Oh, how do I do that? Just grab my hand like this. So now, you just keep sending electrical pulses through your output pin like you were doing before. My other pin is connected to the positive leg of the LED, and all three of us are connected to ground. Whenever you send an electrical pulse to my left pin, I'll know you want me to do the same on my right pin. What I mean to say is, when you turn your pin on, I'll turn the high power to the LED on. And when you turn your pin off, I'll turn power to the LED off. You ready? Okay, yeah. Let's give it a go. It's working. Connie, you are very strong. <laughs> Just doing my job. I'm a moss fat. You have a mossy feet. What in the wide world of sports is that? Oh no, Hans, a MOSFET. That stands for Metal Oxide Field Effect Transistor. I can take weak electrical signals and strengthen them. Those small signals can then control much larger amounts of current. I use three connections to make that happen. My source pin connects to the source electrons I want to control the flow of, you know, such as ground or negative connection on a power supply. My drain pin connects to positive power, and my gate pin connects to the signal, which tells me when to turn the higher current connection on or off. So, you empower smaller electrical signals to make them bigger. That's true. You know, some folks even call me an amplifier. Connie, the amplifying MOSFET. Sounds like a superhero. <laughs> Thanks, Hans. Well, I told Cappy I'd meet him at an audio circuit around 2.30. He wants help to make his stereo speaker louder. So, how long do we have to flash this LED for? Oh, just like another 400,000 milliseconds. So, y you should be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> 